We like to call all the restaurants in America carb dens. Why? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another vlog. I guess today's vlog goes in the low carb keto carnivore chat vlog. And I was looking up something the other day, you know, because Jersey Mike's opened up another location. They're a rapidly expanding fast food chain in America. And I was just wondering like, about how many restaurants are there in America? And I, I think the number is currently estimated to be around 700,000 uh, in the United States of America. And that's formal restaurants, you know, fancy restaurants, plus this fast food and casual eating restaurants. And I, I was guessing uh, there's probably well over a million places, including those where you can get junk food, like a bag of chips or some stupid donuts. It, it's, um, it's probably well over, well over a, uh, a million places um, to get this junk food. And if you look here, I have this video flashing behind us here, uh, this uh, slideshow. And of all the tw top 25 fast food places, there's a, about 150,000 in the top 25 alone. It's probably more like, God knows, over you know, close to a quarter million fast food places in America. And you look at all their pictures here. It's just pizza, sandw uh, pizza sandwiches, burgers, hoagies, um, potatoes. It's just sugar, blood sugar raising food. And that's why I came up with the phrase carb dens, because it's really just like, like a drug den, but it's a legal and people in, enjoy it and they just, they don't question it. You get your fix. It's like you have to go, that's why they have these drive throughs So you can just pull up and get your fix and eat it. And it's like, you're literally addicted to them. They're, they're carb dens. Um, but I guess the only difference, you know, with the illicit underground world of illegal drugs and the way you fall apart, you turn into this uh, decrepit person rather quickly too, usually in less than 10 years. But the carb drug addiction is a lot longer. It's probably several decades, you know, two or three or four decades. And, you know, by the time you're 50 years old um, or 60 years old, you're, you know, blood pressure problems, cholesterol problems, heart problems, weight problems. It's just a different kind of slower damage um, and it doesn't make you fall apart as bad as like heroin for that, uh, for that comparison. So this is why I think when you look up like interviews with people who have uh, successfully made the switch to a low carb or more in particular a carnivore diet, their most uh, difficult you know, experience with that change to a healthy diet is eating out, like either eating out with others and people looking at you and saying, hey, what, are you, what are you eating just meat for? Or you can't really find food that is either A, not processed with bad chemicals or animal fat, I mean, uh, vegetable fats, um, and it's usually contaminated. And it's just hard. It's hard to, you look at a menu and you like, you have to, you end up paying more for it too. So, you know, I, I still suggest eat your own food. Don't go to these places. Don't get sucked into the, you know, lulled, lulled by the, the uh, ease of convenience. Just cook your own food. I'm telling you, burgers alone every day, you'll be fine. All right, if you like the video, hit you know, subscribe and please follow me. Uh, go to our blog, that'll help as well, njroot22.com, and I'll see you next video.